Hello and welcome back to the Bob Cave. We're getting ready to kick off the Bob Reads with Tobin's Spirit Guide. And we are going to read a page out of that. And we're going to start things off with the Green Ghost, a.k.a. Slimer. A Class 5, full roaming vapor, formerly anchored to the 12th floor of the Sedgwick Hotel. This spirit, which has been haunting the 12th floor of the Sedgwick Hotel on Park Avenue since the mid-1920s, became the subject of the first full field test of the Ghostbusters' proprietary equipment. During the encounter, a messy collision with our colleague, Dr. Venkman, led us to nickname the ghost, Slimer. Our best guess at the ghost's origins dates back to the apocalyptic cult of ghosts, which held meetings at the Sedgwick in the early 1920s. Finally wearing out its welcome when an animal sacrifice went away, According to our research, it's more than likely that the called spirituals conjured up a hungry spirit, a ghost that can never sate its inhuman appetite as a destructive punishment for the world. And during our encounter with Slimer, we noticed the lingering after effects of its presence, the persistent stench of rancid meat, and an increase in the heaviness of the air, similar to stifling humidity. There were also piles of chew food, and overturned furniture, and an unusual amount of exuded ectoplasma. The ghost is mostly nocturnal, has a rudimentary intelligence, and exhibits low levels of telekinetic ability. That said, it isn't a stereotypical poltergeist. Its behavior tends more towards gluttony, not rage. And it is a glutton, since whatever it consumes immediately passes through its body and onto the floor. It can never be sated. Although we initially trapped Slimer at the Sedgwick Hotel, it was released from captivity when our original containment unit was shut down by Walter Peck, then of the Environmental Protection Agency. Once we recaptured the ghost, we placed it in a smaller containment unit and ionized a glass cage that allowed us to study its properties and behavior directly. 